Today, I have the 2014 Honda Accord. Uh, time to time, they say that they have a problem with starting. So, I thinking about replacing the starter. What I'm going to do is do some scan to see any other code will come with the problem it too. So I will try to make sure I'm not make, making a mistake by just changing the uh, starter because uh, sometimes new car they do have a lot of other problem too besides just starting. Okay. Um, this is a remote uh, keyless. Is um, you have to make sure what you do is right because if you change the starter, it's still not solving the problem. Then that will be uh, wasting money, you know. So that means engine's good, transmission's good, ABS. Still scanning, so let's let's see what come up. Oh, there's ABS fault one. Okay, and they do have a lot of problem with that too. I just uh, find out another Honda Accord this morning. They do have ABS problem like that. Okay, had an ABS code, and also have the power steering, electric power steering code. So let's see what kind of code they have. Okay. This is called the diff different di diameter of tire inflate among function left, front, and rear, right. ABS. Okay. VSA system mount function. Okay. All this, <clears throat> this is kind of happened to a lot of Honda Accord. Okay. So. And I think when you see that code, likely is your tire pressure is not evenly. Maybe low one side in the front and low one side in the rear causing that too. Okay. So on that, it's not related to any of the starters. So I'm going to clear this code. Okay. Because uh, uh, tire pressure probably not even... Uh, um, balance out so that's why causing that so I'm going to replace starter okay going to remove my negative battery so I will hit before I even go to the bottom to touch the starter so you can't see the starter from the top but you have to see from the bottom here so right on above this axle here and that little bad boy right there is your starter. You have to jack the car to go under the car. Hey, in the last couple years, Honda have a hard time to locate the starter because because on the model before this one, they put in front of the intake manifold, just like this one right here, and you have to remove the intake. And this one right here in the back here, a little bit easier. Um, but you still have the axles on the way too. I don't know why they never have any good plate to put it. But the six cylinder they put starter on top is much easier than the four cylinder here. Kind of dark inside here because I don't have a good light. I use my flashlights only. Um, on the right here they have a clip that holding this source of ignition and then another clip holding the ignition switch unplug that okay and on top of this I think you have the uh, battery supply to the starter which is I don't know my hand can reach it up here and I do with one hand only okay there and you can see that this is a 12 millimeter, I think.
So the bracket's out, so you're just uh, using the 12 socket. Take this out right here. It don't really matter which way you do. Um, I prefer to use a long extension that you take the tire out and you take getting the uh, long extension from the tire is easier. And um, but on this video, just I try to do the hard way. But if you have the long extension, take your long extension out and pull from the tire. Take the wheels out, and uh, you can do from the tire much easier on that way okay and you can use a swivel like this swivel is the only way to go easier than anything else yeah you can use this uh, swivel which is the best way if you don't have one that's okay you can use a regular socket to do it okay We'll take the top one off first and then I take the bottom one because the bottom one's easy. It's pretty long screw. So yeah. The bottom one here is another 14 bolt. I'm not sure my camera can see it, but it's pretty pretty uh, easy to see on the bottom one here. Okay. Uh, if you have a long extension, take out the, the tire out and then you can use a long extension. But if you don't have one, uh, you can use a swivel like mine and do it. It's not far. So you can do from under the car like this. But when you have the swivel and you don't have a long extension, take out the tire is I would say double fast than you do from the bottom like this. Okay. Now the bolts come off. Let's just lift this right up and pull the starter. You know this comparison to the Honda Civic 2007. It's a lot easier than Honda Civic, okay? So I've got a new starter and uh, need to put this back in there. Very expensive, it's about $288 for a remanufactured one. I'm not sure how much is the dealership, but I will say probably around like four or $500 easily. Very much it's a reverse from what you're taking out. You don't have to watch when you install and because of you the most important is to take them out. So you already know how to take them out. So to install you should know how to do it. I'm going to put the bottom one first. The bottom one will hold it and then you can do the top one because when you when you hold in the bottom then the top one should is much easier than just do the top one. The top one you don't see it. You pretty much just blind yourself. Make sure the starter fit into uh, align with the uh, mark that you take him out. So the the screw will be straight to it. Now the bottom one's holding already, so the top one just guessing straight from here because you're taking out from here, so just guessing to see where the hole's at. 
Okay. You don't really see it. So make sure you don't tie the bottom one so tight so you can play around the top. If you tie the bottom one then you you don't have a you can't turn the starter around then you don't you don't feel the uh, screw going through the hole. Yeah. So now it's in already. We we'll use a swivel. That's tight enough. Okay. Let's tie it up. And flip this over. So let's cover this up. Okay, all done. So pretty easy, huh? Okay, not just changing the starter, changing this battery too. So you have this right here, this clip. Okay, pull the clip and pull the key out. You can use this clip here, key here. You see this slot right there? Okay, put your keys inside here and twist it. Play around, twist it. Okay, play around, twist it. Pop it. Okay. Now you have your battery inside here, so you just take that. Uh, you can use a screwdriver to pop, or you can use your key to pop this out. Okay. So peel this sticker out before you put it in there. Okay. And insert it back in. That's it. And flip this over. Snap it. That's it. And then slide your key back in. The reason I changing the battery, a lot of time when the battery run out, you won't be able to start it either because life is depend on this little battery here also. And I know probably they have not changing this battery yet because this battery is probably from the OEM battery, so I'm going to change the battery as well. Okay, all right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, thumbs up, and subscribe to keep my channel grow. Bye bye now.